Thank you for making this list. <laughs> See, this video is useful already. Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be doing a birthday wish list or a what to buy the sewer, sewist, seamstress, whatever you want to call them in your life. It's my birthday coming up in about 12 days time and I have been told that I am difficult to buy for, which is a load of nonsense. Buy me fabric and I'll be happy. Um, having said that, um, there are a few things that I have on a wish list and they are not necessarily things that I would think to buy myself, especially when there is the option of buying fabric. So I thought this would be a handy list for my nearest and dearest, but also it might be a good um, idea for uh, people who are looking for, to buy something for somebody that does so. So here we go. Right, so first up on the list is the Fiskars rotary cutter, but the pretty one. Um, I have four rotary cutters and I do use them fairly frequently. I still prefer scissors for cutting out, but um, I would probably not spend that money myself on the pretty Fiskars rotary cutter because I have the bog standard boring orange ones and um, I saw it on Evie Lalove's uh, channel. If you haven't seen her channel, I shall link that down below. And yeah, it's so pretty and it's lovely. Uh, yeah, it is really beautiful and any um, sewer so would be really happy to receive it. Um, well, at least I would anyway. Uh, number two is the pattern weights from Oh So Quaint. And as I've just said, I don't really, I use pins and scissors to cut out uh, fabric rather than weights and rotary cutter. Um, but I think that's just because I don't have these beautiful fondant fancy pattern weights. And um, the I love the donut ones as well. Um, but the fondant fancies are definitely my favourite. So yes, a packet of those, um, I would get excited because yeah, you're buying me fondant fancies, which are my favourite. And when I realise that they're actually pattern weights, that would be even better. So yes. Number three is pretty stationary. And that sounds kind of a bit weird, but um, I have been looking, um, whenever I've been going to like the bigger supermarkets and stuff like that, or the Rich Smiths, I've been looking through their magazine files and their boxes and things like that. And at the shop, if you've seen my shop tour, and if you haven't, I will insert a card for you here. But if you've seen the uh, boxes at the shop, um, I get loads of comments on the actual boxes, just as much as the pretty fabric. Um, I currently store all of my patterns in either plastic or plain blue cardboard um, file folders. Uh, I think that's what they're called, basically plastic wallets. Um, but there are so many beautiful ones on the market and um, definitely a sucker for the pretty packaging. So magazine files, um, the pretty wallets, Liv Roche files, that kind of stuff. Um, sounds a bit weird, but pretty stationary at least for me, would be a very well received gift. Okay. So number four is notions. And I would like uh, ballpoint pins, silk pins, clover pins, uh, fork pins, uh, wonder clips. Uh, I would love a um, wrist um, uh, pin cushion for all of those pins. Uh, what else would I like? A uh, seam ripper. Um, chalk markers, any of those kind of things. Now I have all of those things except for the um, wrist pin cushion, but can never have enough of those things. And these are on the slightly cheaper side of um, the uh, bits and pieces that are on this list. And so if it's like, uh, these are the sort of things that like uh, a brother might get me, hint, hint, little bother, um, that kind of thing. So yeah, or a small girl type creature, a niece, that would be a really good uh, one for them to get you. So yeah, as I say, any sewer would be really, really happy to receive any of those things, especially if you got them in the brand that they particularly love. So the next thing on the list is a sewing pattern. And if you're anything like me, you already have way more sewing patterns than you probably will use in a year but there is always a new one that's come out that you're lusting after that you need. Um, now, this is slightly more problematic because obviously you don't want to have two people buying the same pattern for one person. So this is where gift cards come into play. Definitely buy your uh, seamstress sewer, sewist. Um, still can't decide which is the, my favorite way of describing my hobby and work. But yeah, just uh, buy, uh, find their favorite shop or ask them which their favorite shop is. Um, or somewhere like Minerva Crafts that have a million different types of um, sewing pattern companies under one roof, a gift voucher for that kind of shop is going to be very, very well received. And that way they can buy the pattern that they want. If you're feeling really brave, there is going to be all over their social media, like uh, their Instagram or their Facebook page, they will have put up 
the type of pattern that they're after, they will have mentioned it somewhere. So if you want to do some research and actually get them the specific pattern, that's a really good place to go digging. But yeah, gift cards are probably the safest bet. Number six, woven labels. I've seen lots of people give these um, for birthday presents and it's such a good idea. Um, I don't have uh, wet labels to sew into my own clothes, let alone the clothes that I um, make for other people. And it's something that's always on my list to do, but it's not massive, massive priority. Um, but yeah, uh, one of, uh, getting those as a birthday present would be amazing. So yeah, woven labels, that would be a really good gift. Number seven is um, pretty trims. I There are a couple of places that I love to just go to the website and draw over. RTJ Trims is one of them, McCulloch and Wallace. Um, and my sister-in-law knows very well that I've been drooling over one particular trim. Um, so that would be a really great present to get. But again, that kind of involves asking the person whose birthday it is and um, getting the amount that they need. So again, this is probably where a gift card would be very, very well received. Um, but if you know the person well and you know that they like shiny things, pretty much anything shiny thing that you buy them is going to be very, very well received. Okay, so number eight is fabric. And you knew I was gonna say that. If you're anything like me, you will have the, uh, or if you're seamstress sewer or sewist, is anything like me, they are going to have an enormous stash. I mean, there are some people that don't and I have no idea how they do it. Um, but yes, I have um, an, an enormous stash of fabric, which I love, but everyone keeps bringing out new fabric. And uh, for example, today, Cotton Reel Studios posted one with dragonflies on it on their Instagram account, and now I need that. I mean, obviously I don't need it, but it is beautiful. Um, so yes, again, I have, um, a list of slightly more expensive fabrics that not necessarily going to be something that I would just impulse buy. There is the um, Liberty Carline Lawn or Silk in Blue on their website and again that's an expensive purchase but I would be over the moon if I got some of that. There is um, the Boca Silk from Beckford Silks. Again it's a very expensive purchase but I've already planned this amazing half circle skirt in that one. And um, as I said, Cotton Reel Studios this morning put up dragonflies, which are beautiful. Anyway, fabric. Again, buy them a gift voucher for their favorite fabric store or give them money. Um, I can guarantee that they will use it to buy fabric. So the final thing on my list is shoes. And I know that's got nothing to do with sewing, but I love shoes, as you will have seen from my backdrop when I'm filming over on my bed. Um, I haven't bought myself new shoes in a very long time, and I have seen lots that I like, especially these ones from Office and these ones from Irregular Choice. So either of these two pairs of shoes would be awesome. Um, I'm a size six. <laughs> That is at, aimed at someone very specific, and I so have. yeah, I have um, I have asked for fabric for my birthday, but for some reason he doesn't want to buy me something work related. So shoes, I would like shoes, please. Um, I will send you the links. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, probably a little bit Sean's, but more Sean specific than I was intending for this video. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at all the different things I've put on this list. I hope they are helpful, um, especially to my nearest and dearest. But also, if you are looking to buy something for somebody that you know loves sewing any of these would be very well received if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and i will see you again very soon bye so yeah you're welcome